Hello everyone, today I'm doing a mod tutorial on the mod Big Reactor that enables you to make big reactors. Hey everyone, Simon here from Creative Engine Gaming, and today I'm back with another mod tutorial. And uh, this one's on the mod Big Reactor. And yeah, it's gonna be to make nuclear reactors like this one. And then I'll walk you through how to make them. Now I have basically first of all, you're gonna need a few things like uh yellowite. You don't need exactly this much, but it's the fuel for the reactors. You're going to need some graphite. You don't need the alloy smelter, it's from a different mod. You just need as use it because it's a fast redstone furnace. Redstone powered for furnace. But, um, you smelt coal and it turns into graphite. And that's what you need for a lot of this. Turn that off. But, you need a lot of graphite for this. You can start by making the reactor casing. Which is, you're gonna need two graphite, two gold, four iron, and a redstone to make a reactor casing core. And then you're going to need to put the, that in the middle. Four graphite, four iron to make the rack casing, and then you're going to need to make something. It's like this is the min. I believe this is the minimal size. You're gonna need to make a frame like this. Bottom has to be solid. The walls can be either this or something else that's down by the end. But you'll need to make this basic frame, and then you'll need two yellow right, a diamond, a redstone and four reactor casings to make the reactor controller which goes, it can go anywhere in any of these walls but I prefer to put it right in the middle there because that's easiest access then you need four casing, a chest, a piston to make a reactor access port again you can put them anywhere, I just prefer to put them right in the front here or right on the sides and you'll need to take one of them, click that there, turn it to deposit the waste instead of it building up or anything, it deposits the waste out there. Then you need three graphite, a redstone, a yellow right, and four casing to make a reactor control rod, and then six iron, two graphite, and yellow, yellow right, or yellow or whatever it is, uh, to make a reactor fuel rod. And you can fill it up completely with the reactor fuel rod. Except that. Um, but you can build it like that and have it fully that, but I prefer to have some space in there so the heat isn't too much inside. This does have a heating. You need that to go all the way from the floor up and then a control rod on the roof and then the rest where there isn't a control rod there needs to be a casing. And then a casing and two glass for reactor glass. And then you can fill in what isn't casing the walls with that, and it should turn into this multi-block. That is the reactor. Now, how you supply this with the, basically, eulorium goes in there, um, something called cyanite comes out there, and basically you can run this for a while, there's something that you can do with cyanite that's a way more complicated reactor. Some, I think it's an actively cooled reactor, this is passively cooled. But um, how you um, provide it with yellowium or yellowite or whatever you want to call it, it's up to you. I use the dimensional transceiver, so you don't have to have too much wiring. The dimensional transceiver from Ender.io, come to this, it's yellowium, receive the yellowium, and then do that. And set that to insert, this, always active, and then it should... There, yeah, see? Still on up. It should be full. Yep, there we go. Still on up those. And then we'll fill up that. And then, as far as dealing with the waste, I don't use it because I don't know how to set up the bigger reactor. So I normally just put trash cans and insert and, uh, always active so any waste immediately get 
deposited and once you have whatever you need set up you come in here you activate you can see it starts heating up inside outside energy buffer and yeah wait a minute I did not include a power tap all right so let me fix that real quick all right to make the power tap you need to make a it's called a redstone flux reactor redstone flux power tap Totally forgot to include that. It's my bad. You need four casing, four redstone to make this, and you only need one. You just put it wherever you need. You can say right there, and then you can pull power out of there. Basically, a tap for the power. So I take that, then a basic capacitor bank. Put that there. And it's filling up. So that was my bad not including that. I'm sorry, I messed up a bit, but you know, that's basically how you make a passively cooled reactor. Now, activate. That will, that was filling up off of the energy buffer. You can see that's down a bit. But that's the thing, that's what the energy buffer is for. If it's deactivated, that will output. It's basically a battery. Internal battery. Now, I like it because you can make some really, really big things here, like this. This could be way more filled, I just made it basic that, but it could be filled to the max and output a lot of power, but that would not be very good for the heat. I don't know what that applies, I think it affects how much power it puts out, but that's, it's just, uh, oh, geez. But um, if you look here, it this outputs cyanite fairly quickly. Just have it set to receive the allurium and put it in there. That's linked up to some other machine somewhere else. But yeah, that's basically it for the big reactors mod tutorial that I have just made. Quick video, just showing you how to build something like that. Hope you did enjoy, and uh, make sure to like, subscribe, etc. Um, if I, again, like I said in the last video, if I can get up to like 15 or 20 subscribers, that'd be great. I could use more subscribers. I need, it's not that very, very fun making it for like 4 or 5 subscribers. So yeah, make sure to like, share, etc. Have a good day, night, whatever it is for you when you're watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!